In this video, I'm going to do a walkthrough of a result section for a between groups ANOVA. And I'm going to do it in two different ways uh, because the post hoc test that you should do, or the multiple comparison test you should do, differs as to whether uh, you have three groups or four groups. So I'm going to start with the easiest case uh, first, or the simplest case, which is three groups. And in this uh, analysis, in this re result section, it's based on an analysis I did with SPSS uh, looking at the difference between means for student confidence levels based on teacher expectations. So the first line I'm going to talk about, I talk about the descriptive statistics. Uh, and I write that descriptive statistics associated with student confidence levels across the three teacher groups are reported in Table 1. And I'll give you a quick view of what that table looks like. This is what it looks like. So table one, and then I'm using APA format here, uh, descriptive statistics for student confidence across the teacher expectation groups. And so I have the three groups, low expectation, average expectation, high expectation. Then I have sample size, which is equal. Then I have the means, standard deviation, and then skew and kurtosis for each of the three groups. Uh, then I write a little bit about what the results are showing in the, dis in the descriptive table. This is slightly optional, I think, but I prefer to see a little bit of a... a s you should be making reference to this table if you're actually going to create it. So it says, it can be seen that the low expectations teacher group was associated with the numerically smallest mean level of student confidence. And here's the mean reported here with a, an M, and it's italicized. A lot of people would put standard deviation as well. They'll put a comma and then they'll put SD here as well. And I'm open to that. I think that's not a bad idea, but I don't think it's very necessary if you have all the information in a table already. So it says the smallest, uh, the numerically smallest mean, not statistically, we don't know if that's true yet, just numerically, definitely true numerically and the high expectations teacher group was associated with the numerically highest mean level of student confidence, mean 14.12. Now there was a third group which was average confidence level and I haven't mentioned that. I just want to give a little bit of a feel for the results. In order to test a hypothesis that level of teacher expectations of which there were three groups, low, average, high, had an effect on student confidence, a between groups ANOVA was performed. I could have wrote a one-way between groups ANOVA, uh, but I just said a between groups ANOVA. It would be fine to say one-way. Prior to conducting the ANOVA, the assumption of normality was evaluated. So I need to test my assumptions before I get into the results of the ANOVA. And determined to be satisfied as the three groups distributions were associated with skew and kurtosis level, uh, less than 2 and 9 respectively. And I have a citation for that. There are several papers that support the use of ANOVA with non-normally distributed data up to values of 2 and 9. And I've got the Schmieder uh, reference here. And I also say check table 1 because that's where I've got the skew and kurtosis levels reported. So then I put a, a semicolon after the citation and then I put the table reference table. I could have put this, the table first. Uh, as in, I could have put the table there before the citation. You have the add option. Furthermore, the assumption of homogeneity of variances was tested and satisfied based on Levine's F-test. And here I have F with 2 degrees of freedom and 72, 2 and 72 degrees of freedom, a very small F value of 0.64, and P equal 0 0.0529. Now you recall, you want to have a P value greater than 0 0.05 in this case and because that means that the variances are homogeneous and that's a good thing and where I got that in the SPSS output is right here tests of homogeneity of variances it's right after the descriptives you don't get skew and kurtosis in descriptives in the ANOVA you have to do that separately in the explore procedure and divide by groups uh, so here's the homogeneity variance test so we're good good to go so the independent between groups ANOVA yielded a statistically significant effect. And here I've got F2 and 72 degrees of freedom, F value of 558, 5.58, P equal 0 0.006, and here's eta squared. 
I, oh, anytime I report a statistic,